And yet I said have signed our world class right back gets in. Finally, lads, we have signed a defender from Italy. Yes, the City R, where they're renowned for their defences. Mate, just this, we got a player who can play it right back. He's versatile, left back. He is world class. He is going to be amazing for Manchester United. Welcome to the club, Cafu. Been a while since, you know. Mate, we haven't signed Cafu. Yeah? Who is it then? Matteo Domain's his name. Who? Matteo Darmain. Darmain? Never heard of him. Nobody has ever heard of him. Right then, that's that. It's going on YouTube, Kurt S7 here to talk about Manchester United's new signing, Matteo Darmain. Now, what do we know about Matteo Darmain? Because I'll be I'll be frank with you guys. I am an expert on Matteo Darmain. I've been watching all his YouTube clips for the past three hours, so I know. <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Lads, who is he? What do we know about Matteo Darmain? Well, I personally know nothing. I never even heard of him until uh, there was interest from United to Torino about him. But I have got some facts here about Matteo Darmain. So, lads, I'm going to read some facts. They're actual facts. They're not rumours. They're real facts about Matteo Darmain. He is 25 years of age, so he's not young, he's not an up-and-comer, he is ready to go. Uh, so I'd say he will be starting at right-back for Manchester United. That's just a guess. He could be competition for Valencia and Rafael for that right-back spot. I'm not too sure. Signing a four-year deal at £12.8 million. Looks like the uh, fee is set to be there from Torino. He has 13 caps for Italy at right back. So you know, in a team in Italy where they're renowned for their defending, if he can make that squad, he must be half decent. Uh, he's very versatile that everyone keeps saying. Everyone in the Italian league, especially, uh, I've got a, a mate who specializes in City yeah, That's all he watches. And he says, he says the girl, uh, the guy's very, the girl, he says the guy's very versatile. Can play right back, can play left back. And he's tall, he's six foot tall, so he can play center half if needed, but he loves to run, he reckons. Um, he hasn't got the best finishing skills, but he's not, he's, he's a defender for God's sakes, you know? Uh, but apparently, which I'm really, really, really excited about, lads, apparently, Matteo Darmain has got a quality cross on him. Apparently, I'll see for myself when the uh, real thing actually starts, but that is more than welcome at Manchester United because it's been a long goddamn time since we had quality crosses coming in at Old Trafford. So, uh, he loves to run, loves to get up and down, so I'm really happy with that. Um... He played 43 games last year for Torino, four goals, four assists, but like I said, he's a defender, so that doesn't matter. And that's pretty much all the facts I have about Matteo Darmain. Lads, nobody knows who he is, so I can't wait to see him. We needed defenders, we need a right back. Antonio Valencia was our number one right back last season, but to be fair, to Antonio Valencia, uh, he has been copying a lot of unfair criticism because I think he was fantastic for us last season. Every time he played right back for us, every time he pulled on the red jumper, he gave it 110%. And that's what I love about Antonio Valencia. And he was half decent too, but he didn't get forward and take on players like he normally does at the right midfield position. But anyways, lads, that is all I have for Matteo Darmain. What do you think about him? Do you know any facts? If you do, get your comments down below. But until next time lads hopefully there's some more signings to come united go on pre-season tour next week to the usa so make sure you stay subscribed to the curtis 7 youtube channel where i'm going to be reviewing manchester united's pre-season games anyways i'm out of here take care and peace